It's the world's largest democracy, a bustling hub of innovation and promise. And now it's become the world's fourth biggest economy. But India's success story is incomplete. A third of the country is living on a dollar a day, and more than 300 million people still live without electricity. No TV, no fridge, and when the sun goes down, no lights. जिस समय लाइट की सुविधा नहीं थी, उस समय यह हमारा गांव एकदम अंधेरा दिखाई दे रहा था। नहीं कोई काम रात को कर सकते थे, पढ़ भी नहीं सकते थे, एक भय सा लग रहा था, एक डर हो रहा था। The lack of electricity is holding the aspirations of millions in the countryside hostage. It's not the poverty that's holding them back. It's the, you know, the policy, the lack of infrastructure because of which the electricity hasn't reached there. Ratnesh Yadav was born here in Bihar, one of India's most underdeveloped states. The government provides electricity to the capital Patna, but outside the city, 80% of the people are living completely off the grid. Though this is one of the most densely populated state in India, but uh, after sun goes down, uh, there is no light, no life. After spending years away, Ratnesh returned to his home state. He was appalled at the lack of light and development in the countryside. So he and some innovative partners stepped up where the government was failing. And we use agricultural waste as feedstock to generate electricity. And then using our own distribution network, we sell that electricity to nearby villages. The fuel to generate this electricity includes rice husk, wheat straw, or sugar cane from local communities. It's cheap, carbon neutral, and one small plant can power a few hundred homes. This is the um, uh, gasifier, gasifier system. And that's we are putting husk to in this uh, gasifier. This goes under uh, incomplete combustion and producing gas. It's like a giant furnace. The husk burns and produces gas, which powers a generator producing electricity. Right now what we are addressing is uh, that their basic need for electricity is lighting, cell phone recharge. Every household, almost every household has uh, uh, cell phones. They don't have electricity, but they have cell phones. India provides some of the world's cheapest cell phone service. Ratnesh wants to make electricity just as accessible. For $2 a month, Husk Power provides villagers with six hours of electricity every night. One of the uh, secrets for our success is that uh, we have been very innovative. Whatever we, we need, uh, we have to, you know, innovate ourselves. They don't exist in the market. Five years after building their first plant, Husk Power now has more than 80 providing electricity to about 200,000 people across Bihar. Electricity in the village brings uh, a kind of feeling where people connect themselves to the outside world. This is Tamkua village, literally meaning fog of darkness. The fog lifted five years ago when a husk power plant transformed village life here. The town market now stays open late, and the village doctor can take patients at night. Devi's children now take evening classes with the local teacher, where each night up to 30 kids attend. और यहाँ बच्चों को अच्छी शिक्षा नहीं मिल उचित शिक्षा नहीं मिल पाती है जिसके वजह से बच्चे आगे नहीं बढ़ पाते हैं। बच्चों के अगर उचित शिक्षा अगर मिले बढ़िया शिक्षा मिले तो बच्चे जो है कि डॉक्टर बन सकते हैं इंजीनियर बन सकते हैं Husk Power has ambitious plans to expand They're hoping to have 2014 plants set up by the year 2014 Husk Power system has a role to play not only in Bihar but outside Bihar and even outside India They have got a kind of uh, uh, approach and framework and the technology which can be replicated anywhere In fact Husk Power has been contracted to bring their innovation abroad. They have plans to build five plants in Uganda and ten in Tanzania in the next year.
Renewable energy is no more a matter of choice. It's a compulsion. The way we we are polluting our ecosystem, the way conventional sources of energy, petrol, diesel, coal are getting costlier, we don't have a choice. We have to, you know, move towards renewable sources of electricity. In India's megacities, rural migration is pushing the power grid to the brink. But in villages like Tamkua, they welcome any development. Husk power isn't just an alternative energy. Here, it's the only alternative. 